can stand him. Listen, whatever you pay to get rid of him is perfect. Do you understand? Yeah. Whatever it costs you to get rid of him, worth every nickel. And later today. Oh, that's right, folks. I was on Judge Judy, and I got my <laughs> handed to me. But amidst all that embarrassment and fun, this is actually how I got my start on YouTube. And I want to share this rather embarrassing story with you right now on Owen Video. Owen Video! Welcome back to the channel. Please don't laugh at me. I'm going to share with you guys the absolutely true story of how I got started on YouTube. Now, I've always been into video, but it wasn't until I was destroyed on Judge Judy that I felt like I could actually make a career out of this. Having all of my dirty laundry aired on national television taught me some very valuable lessons about the media, and I want to share those with you today. But first, we should probably talk about why I was there in the first place. You claim that he has certain property that belongs to you. Mr. Hemseth says that the charges were made with your permission. And he has a counterclaim for a car that you repossess that he made all the payments on. I'm going to start with his counterclaim, which should be easy. Excuse me? What you're going to show me, sir, is payments on the car from September to February. I'm waiting. Yes. What payments are you talking about, sir? To American Express? No, you know, that I have for you nine months of bank transactions. Ah, I'm not looking through nine months of bank transactions, sir. I want to see the your highlighted. Hey. So that brings me to the first big lesson I learned from Judge Judy. All media is constructed. Here's what that means. It's all real, but it's also fake. Judge Judy, for example, a real judge. Well, she's retired, but still a real judge. Even this guy here. He's a real deputy with a degree in criminology, but he's also a stand-up comedian actor. I put his full bio in the description box below. Take a look at this live studio audience. Real people, but also paid actors. In fact, when I first got to the Judge Judy studio in Hollywood, it was rather unremarkable. A big, dull, dirty brown building, and when I walked in, it was this giant empty sound studio with a small wooden box in the center. As we got closer to the box, there was a small door, and when you walk in that door, bam, you're in the Judge Judy studio. And after the pain of being personally humiliated on national television, I realized that I could take any empty room and transform it into a reality of my choosing. A month later, I converted my garage into my very first green screen studio using a sheet of plywood that I bought from Home Depot, some green paint, and some very simple can lights. Flash forward to today, I've converted my kid's bedroom into a broadcasting studio for my live television show. I have also converted my garage into a full-on live video production studio where I film a program for a Fortune 1000 company that pays me five figures a month to be on camera. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's watch more of the show. You pay for a car either by direct deposit or by check. So I want to see either the checks or the payments made for those months. That should be more helpful, Your Honor. I have September for $2,000. Well, how much were the payments a month? The payments were $326 a month. What's your first name, sir? Owen, Your Honor. So you had a joint bank account. She was added to the account. Shh. Yes. You had a joint bank account. Yes, we did. Would you have them circle, please, the payments in September? October, November, December, and January. So that brings me to lesson two. Paperwork is only as good as the people who sign it. I spent weeks collecting bank statements, receipts, digital data, anything that I could find that proved my ownership over the property in question. But check out how Judge Judy treated that paperwork. Those statements are right here. I said circle. circle they are circles the payments. and they are labeled, Your Honor. So then why didn't you give me that in the first place? I did give you, I turned that in and it was returned to me. So I am giving it back to you. Are you kidding me or what? How much were the monthly payments? So I believe they were 326. 
show me payments for $326. Circle the payments for $326 for September, October, November, December, and January. And if you don't have it, don't give me any other piece of paper. I, I do. I have it circled right here. No. I see $2,000. I see $2,500 circled. Would you tell me why those are circled? Yes, those were other costs. I don't care about other costs. I asked you to show me the payments. September, October, November, December, and January. I don't want to see anything else circled other than the car payment. $326. Now, on one... Just a second. Say nothing. All I want to see circled, $326, five times. And if you don't have it, say I don't have it. What she's doing is redefining how a person proves ownership so that she can rule in favor of the plaintiff. Now, that's fine for TV, but the same thing happens in real life. For example, when I first got started on YouTube, I was doing tons of work for different influencers. You know, well-known social media celebrities, many of whom at the end of the day simply would not pay their contracts. In fact, one particular thought leader, despite the agreement we had signed, had me purchase my own airline ticket, refused to give me a deposit, and while we were going to the airport, called and canceled the deal. I lost close to $2,000. So I learned that you have to protect your investment. Whether you're a creator or a marketer or a business person, always get a deposit to cover any costs on the work that you're about to do. And never, ever, 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 ever do business with somebody who you feel won't honor the agreement. Back to Judy. Owen Hemsap owes for credit card charges and for the return of her furniture and belongings. Now, for the record, I had a beard before it was cool. So, suck on that, hipster. Watch how Judge Judy railroads me in the next segment. I'm not going to go back to see where that money emanated from. You are entitled to $1,630, and you used the car for five months. Do you understand? That's correct. Good. Perfect. Now, I can make it really easy, though, to see don't where the $2,000 came Don't make from. my life easy. I don't need you to make my life easy. If you want to make my life easy and be successful, so far you're successful, $1,630 worth. You want to see that fly out the window? No, Your Honor then I would suggest you keep your mouth shut. Do you understand? Absolutely. Perfect. Lesson three, speak up for yourself, even if you think you're gonna get in more trouble. This will happen in business all the time. Your clients, your sponsors, even your business partners will try to make you agree to terms that are unfavorable to you. They might even attack you for standing up for yourself, but you have to say something. He says you took them, is that right? That's correct. I okay. Don't say anything. I told you it's not an audition. Doesn't have any couches. What are they? She took them. I have one. Shut. She took them is the answer. Oh, can't stand him. It's finished. Sure. It's finished. He's got to pay for what he owes. Why is our excuse mixed up out? Should be happy owing you got a car for six months for free, and you get to keep all my belongings. You should have a party tonight. You look great. Classic. Lesson four. Stay classy. Now, I know this might seem a little bit weird, but bad stuff is going to happen to you. And I want to encourage you to always respond in grace. Never take the low road. Avoid throwing mud on your channel. Don't mention other people's names if they've wronged you or if you're talking ill of them. Avoid stupid political arguments unless your channel is inherently political. Instead, keep it neutral, keep it friendly, and make your brand seem warm and friendly to do business with. As she put it, it's worth every penny getting rid of that guy. I was in love. I mean, you saw her. She's a beautiful girl. She was a downer in my life for five years. I want to spend the rest of my life when I have kids with this girl. Now I remember what it's like to be happy again. Lesson number five, emotions matter. Now, I may have appeared like a doofus in this last little section right here, but let me tell you what happened. See, back in these days, YouTube was wild and free like a Portland hippie. And this particular episode was uploaded to a whole bunch of different channels on YouTube. It's since been removed, but I have a link in the description box below if you want to see the entire episode. Well, I got pretty involved in the comment section and I made a ton of friends. In fact, my Facebook profile blew up with tons of chicks and some dudes who really wanted to make out with me. In fact, every time the rerun plays on Judge Judy to this day, I'll still get an influx of new friend requests 
from people saying, I saw you on Judge Judy. I doubt this would have happened if I was super rude and mean to her at the end of the show. It was this powerful manifestation that bridged the gap for me between TV and reality. At this point in my life, I was like, hey, if I can get this many new friends and followers from a TV show, I wonder if I can recreate the same success in my own career. Shortly after this aired, I began making short, funny videos for myself. I was even making videos for small businesses. I was doing a little bit of family vlogging before it was cool. And I even made some sketch comedy videos for churches and faith-based associations. Now you won't believe this, but I put the links to some of those things in the description box below. While at this time, having my heart trampled on in front of a live studio audience was absolutely devastating. It gave me the skills, the knowledge, and the expertise that I needed to become Owen Video. Owen Video! And through the years, this has been the catalyst for my success on YouTube, which has spread to Facebook and created a six-figure income that takes me around the world speaking at events. It's helped me to purchase my home in San Diego where I raise my four kids and I get to spend every day doing what I love. But most importantly, it was through the breakup I had with this girl that led me to internet dating where I met my wife, Teresa. And you should see my wife. She's absolutely smoking hot. Ah, that's my house cleaner. This is my wife, Teresa. Whew. Much better. Hey, if you had a good time here with me today, like this video and consider sharing it on Twitter or on your social media sites.